this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire and we're at the fourth annual winter camp out here we've got the whole crowd here and we're having a great time one of the things that we found out here was a couple of uh, beer cans that somebody had left around and so I wanted to show everybody here how to make a whistle so what we're going to do is we're going to take I've just got a Mora Classic here and I'm going to go through this beer can this is not the way to treat your knife but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right guys? Yeah. And we got sharpening stones out here, so we'll get these all fixed up after we're done. And I'm just gonna take the end off of this, and I'm gonna take the other end off it as well. And that will leave me with a piece of aluminum that I can work with. Again, we're working here on a stump. You don't want to work on your leg. You don't want to work somewhere where you end up uh, getting hurt. through there. And then what I'm going to do in order to open this is to just score right down the center of this. Bend it once and it comes right apart. So now I've got my piece of aluminum that I can use. Okay. And what we're going to do with this aluminum is we're going to cut two pieces. Remember that score? I'm going to do that again. Just clip that over. This piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl it a bit. Just give it a little bit of a curl for a few seconds here. And it'll stay that way after a minute. And once that I curl that, I'm going to actually take and fold a little piece over on the end so that I have a flap there. That flap gives me something to put on my mouse so I don't get, to, don't get hurt. And I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to score that. Cut that off. Well, this piece goes underneath of this flap and it's too long right now so I'm going to cut it off here in a second and then it just folds back over this way. Now I see how long that I need that and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off. Just the score on there bend that again, we'll cut that off, and bend that over. Now you can see that I've got a piece here where there's a little lip. Get over here, you can see that this runs right through here where this overhang is, okay? So we've got little lip. We just fold this back over top of it and that holds it all in place. Okay. Now I'm going to make a bend right on that lip and I'm going to remember how I curled that before? I have that little curl there. Now if you can see this kind of looks like P whistle. A little P whistle. Okay. So what I do is I put my fingers over that P whistle, right where that bend is. But I'm not making this aluminum sturdy today. And just adjust that until I get the sound that I want. I have to move a little bit back and forth just to get it right. But well, you guys heard that whistle, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, cheap aluminum. Guys, do not use Bud Light. This is cheap aluminum.
Now you may have to open this hole up just a little bit. This is your air hole right through here. You may have to open that just a hair. There you go. A whistle from an old aluminum can out in the bush. We'll have some other aluminum can teachings later on. But this is David Wendell and the whole crew from Bushcraft on Fire at the Wilderness Survival Camp saying have a great day and everybody say hey hey. Hey hey. hey. hey.